Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's the Memphis Grizzlies as they'll be playing against the Golden State Warriors. Well, for Golden State, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And Clay Thompson, the son of former first overall pick Michael Thompson, I mean, when he gets hot, he can take over games. And you know what? This guy, didn't he have 37 in one in quarter, quarter last year? Yeah. How incredible was that to get 37 no, in a quarter? Not only that, Kenny also had 26. for a win against a Western Conference rival. The Golden State Warriors are ready for this thing to get started. Hi, everyone. We're happy to have you with us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And on the sideline tonight, Doris Burke. So Golden State will get the first possession. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. And Golden State looking at who they've got. The Splash Brothers are the guards. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. And it's Barnes in at the three. You know, basketball can be a thing of beauty. And the Warriors show just how gorgeous ball movement can be last year. Every possession looked like a well-orchestrated concert. It was incredibly fun to watch. Not so much fun, probably, to coach against. Now here's Barnes following the miss by Zach Randall. Barnes against Lee. Cuts it fly. No good off the back of the rim. Golden State on D. Now here is Conley. Randolph a screen. Conley the pass to Randall. To the paint. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And it's the Warriors' ball. Curry kicks to Green. Green with a screen on Lee. Back to Green. It's rebounded by Memphis. Outside Conley. Looks for Randolph. Gets it to him. And the shot is good. I bet that's what they talked about before the game. You know, getting the ball inside early. And it worked to perfection, Clark, on that possession. We'll see how that plays out in terms of being a big part of their game plan. Now, here's Curry. Thompson in the corner. Just five on the clock. Screen by Bogut. A drive by Thompson. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Lee with the ball. It's stolen by Bogut. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. And yes, sir, that one drops. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Very nicely done there. Absolutely. They make the steal, pay dividends instantly on the fast break. You know, looking at Andrew Bogut, he's been one of the game's best centers. I mean, obviously injuries have saddled him a little bit over the years, but he's made it through 67 games each of the past two seasons. Now we go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Dave Yig. Doris? One player that he's talked to his guys a lot about is Stephen Curry. He said Curry's one of the premier shooters in the game, and he's got that quick trigger. We really have to be tight to him, get physical, and try to get him on his heels as much as possible. Guys, Curry is an excellent free throw shooter. We'll see if they can do that without fouling him. Always great to hear from you, Doris. 
We're going back to Bogut when he's healthy. He's a very difficult matchup for any opponent. Great. One of the great rebounders and defenders, certainly, in this game now. He also, though, gives you points from the blocks and with timely putbacks. And, you know, he's become an unsung hero in a sense. Not the flashy guy who entered the league, but more of a very talented, lunch pail kind of guy who simply wants to do his part. I don't know. Maybe they're still working out the kinks on D because that clearly was a breakdown. Green with a screen for Curry. Dishes it to Green. Green missing again. The Grizzlies trail by three. Conley kicks to Green. Here's Randolph, and it's sent back by Bogut. And that'll be that as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies retain possession. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Barnes comes in for Jeff Green. And Allen subbed in for Lee. Then the Warriors. Spates checked in for Bogut. Igudala comes in for Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Picked by Randolph. The dish to Barnes. Allen outside. He kicks to Randolph. Five to shoot. Releases from 15. Randolph missing again. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. Last season, Memphis fell late and would end up with the fifth seed in the NBA playoffs. Only one of two teams to make the playoffs each of the last five seasons, along with the San Antonio Spurs. Yes, and they were a team that nobody wanted to play. Memphis beat Portland in that first round. And even though they were the fifth seed, they had home court advantage. Conley dishes to Barnes. One fifteen left in the first quarter of the game. Gasol against Spates. And Gasol slams it in. Fellas, that two-hand mock to slam was vicious. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. Here's Barnes following the score by Memphis. He's now one for two with that bucket. You know, guys, Memphis walks through the first round against Portland. The second round, a lot tougher against Golden State. They went up 2-1 in that series, but couldn't hold on to that lead. Now here's Barnes looking for his first basket still in this one. Feeds it to Randolph. Looking for Allen and gets it there. Golden State now. His first personal foul. First team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Tony Allen. Two shots. No good on that one. Brandon Wright's checked in for Memphis. Rudrick comes in for Michael Conley. Then for the Warriors, Azili comes in for Green. And it's Barbosa in for Harrison Barnes. And he's good on the second. Warriors leading by four. Here is Livingston. He feeds it to Barbosa. 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter. No good from Spates. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Kicks it to Udrich. Shot from 12. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Eight points for Mark Gasol. Udrich with the excellent feed that time. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Warriors on top, up by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And 
Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. Anywhere five, six feet outside that three-point line, if I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, I think coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. I mean, he is just a, an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. ever. And, and, and listen, I, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game? You can tell the point of emphasis has been to get to the offensive glass. Yep, and they've set the tone here early with the hustle they've come out with. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Iguodala. Steph Curry's out there at Barbosa. Then there's Festus Azili, and it's Spates in at the power forward position. I tell you, the Grizzlies guys were really dominant in the first half of the season last year, but after the All-Star break, barely played above 500. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Spates, and it's Clay Thompson in for Leandro Barbosa. And it's tied up with that one. And Memphis would end up going 16 and 13 over the back half of last season. Down the stretch, they would only go five up and five down in their final ten. Yeah, and, and Kevin, all those games, so important as they jockeyed for position in the West. It was so fluid and volatile down the stretch. They could have been anywhere from a second seed to a sixth on any given day. And they just happened to slump at the wrong time. Now Udrick after the miss three from Clay Thompson. Back to Lee. Memphis moving that ball around. Green, the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Udrick. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Some changes for Memphis. Zach Randolph is checked in for right. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Udrick. Golden State also making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Azili. And it's Harrison Barnes in for Andre Iguodala. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Curry passes to Bogut. The feed now to Barnes. Pass to Curry. Bogut with a screen on Cup. Curry kicks to Bogut. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And the Warriors lead by two. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Now here's Conley. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Green kicks to Lee. Outs Randolph. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the pass to come. Shot from the wing. Draymond Green pulls it in. And guys, I would have to say one of the most underrated defensive players in the NBA, Draymond Green. Might not be the case anymore after coming in second in the Defensive Player of the Year voting last year. Yep, he might not look the part. You know, undersized, but you talk to the scouts and the stat geek, they'll tell you he's one of the best in the game defensively. And that one's good. The Grizzlies trail by five. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Carter outside to the wing right side. Six to shoot. Here's Conley. That's short off the rim. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. It's Thompson off the drive. Good. Eight points for Draymond Green. And they can up the ante a little bit there after that basket. Yeah, you know, their lead's increasing, and they've got they've got to be feeling better and better about the way this game is starting to play out now. So we'll see if they can close it out. Green breaking loose. The shot's good from Carter. 
Good job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, you have to respect the way Vince Carter has just aged gracefully. Mm -hmm. A superstar in his day, Clark. Uh, you knew his game so well. He's in his late 30s. He's still getting it done. Got a lot that he brings to the table still, Kevin. I mean, not just to score. He can pass, defend, rebound, and not to mention his veteran leadership and savvy. Tony Allen subbed in for Courtney Lee. Thompson dishes to Kerr. Randolph against Green. Over in the corner, Barnes. Shot clock at five. And he banks in the layup. Barnes has got his second bucket tonight. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Al Conley. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Gasol. Misses off the left iron. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot. Curry, wide open. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. Conley kicks to Allen. Randolph up top, passes it to Green. Buried from 15 feet out. 136 left in the first half. Curry against Conley. From the wing. Curry can't get it to go. The Grizzlies have gone 2 of 6 from the field in the second quarter so far. Curry against Conley. Allen passes to Gasol. Shoots from the block. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Warriors leading by five. Outside Curry. Pass to Thompson. Launches it. Cannot hit. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And stolen by Barnes. I like the move to go two for one here. So do I, Greg. I mean, I agree with you. They need to get a quick look and then try to get another possession after that. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Brandon Wright's checked in for Randall. Barnes comes in for Green. And it's Udrick in for Mike Conley. Now here's Udrick hasn't scored yet, that I'm sure will change. Barbosa against Allen. Steps back and fires. And Gasol sends it back. Four on the shot clock. And they get it back. Igudala. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Hudrick. He dishes it to Gasol. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. 
And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Warriors lead by five. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Thank you, Kevin. Andre, what has been the underlying principle of how you and the team have taken the floor tonight? Communication. Communication doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but uh, in order for us to be a good team, everyone has to be on the same page, and we're doing it tonight. Andre, thank you. Kevin, one of those intangibles you always look to. Thank you, Doris. We'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, this has been a good game here after one half. Uh, everybody, uh, welcome back to the uh, halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny Smith. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. Their biggest lead during the opening period was five. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, it's tough to play on the road, and they overcame that. They were mentally and physically prepared for this game, but it hasn't been easy. They faced some intense play from a team on its home turf, but these guys didn't cave in. In fact, they fought back with some intensity of their own, successfully, in front of a very hostile crowd. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. Well, their defense was really inconsistent. They get a stop, then turn around and give up an easy bucket. That's why they allowed over 50% shooting. Their defense needs to be a lot more focused in the second half. And now, folks, it's just about time for the third quarter to begin. We will see you after the final buzzer. early on in his career. trail by five. On the wings, it's Lee and Green. Randolph is the four with Gasol in the middle, and it's Conley in at the point. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Here's Randolph, and Thompson sends it back. Curry against Lee. Outside for Curry. Pulls up. That one bounces around and comes back out. Tell you what, folks, I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Here's Conley. Again, Conley missing. And guys, last season, Clay Thompson made his first all-star trip overall. Clark, his game took a huge leap forward. Hey, I agree with you, Kevin. And a big reason for that, I think, was his spot on Team USA. Playing the way he did and with that group really lifted his confidence. Excellent point. And, and Thompson last season set the record for most points ever in a quarter with 37. Made all 13 shots and two free throws and finished the game with 52 points. And, and Thompson making all nine of his three-pointers in that game. I mean, that was also a record. The most three-pointers in a quarter. I think that performance sealed his place among the All-Star Reserves. So he gets them both. 
And guys, Steph Curry, the rare point guard who's almost as effective playing off the ball as he is on it. And the Warriors have really emphasized that as he's evolved as a player, bringing in a lot of playmakers who can set him up coming off screen. And still, he scores. Boy, they could use just a little bit of help from him. The 17-footer. Bogus. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. The Grizzlies trail by nine. And speaking of Curry playing off the ball in the pass, Clark, we'd see him guarding shooting guards defensively. Some said trying to hide him against lesser offensive players. Well, I think guarding two guards gave him a chance maybe to save some energy for the offensive end. Recently, Steve Kerr has had him on point guards more. You want your best players taking the challenge at both ends of the court. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Well, I tell you, the Warriors roster fit together hand in glove. They were led by the Splash Brothers, but the front court and the bench really complemented the rest of the team perfectly because all of the players for the Warriors were extremely versatile and highly skilled. coaching his team during that break. He made it clear that their offense needed to run through Marc Gasol. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. And thank you for that, Doris. Now here's Randolph. Just five to shoot. Gets it to go. As you're talking about the Warriors, you know, they were built to play with each other last year. The bigs could all pass very well, and that set up the three-point threats. It, uh, and then even on the defensive side, I mean, they had players that really complemented each other. I mean, some undersized power forwards who, who countered with rim protectors. I mean, they also had the length of every perimeter position to switch on any play. So they are equally as adept on that side of the ball. Timeout called the Warriors. And you know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, and you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. Dishes to Bogut. Here's the floater. And Curry puts it in. Curry's got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. To the paint. Here's Randolph. Green with the block. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Pushing their lead to double digits. That's ten points for Steph Curry. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Okay now, Conley. Early on last year, it was clear Steph Curry was just on another level. Was an MVP candidate right from the start of the season, and he would eventually be voted that award. And, and I thought very deserving. You, you could see how he elevated his play, and, and so many of us and so much talk focuses on what he does offensively. So he was ahead of the snake of a terrific defensive group for Golden State a season ago, and that's one reason why he ended up being the MVP. And with Curry winning his first NBA MVP award, he played the fewest minutes by an MVP in league history, mostly because his team was up by so much, he got to sit a number of fourth quarters. Carter, he's checked in for Zach Randolph. Oh, 
And both free throws good for a lead. And with Curry and the MVP, there, there was some pressure with Hart. Relatively close voting, but Curry was the clear winner. Hard to argue with the season he had leading his team to 67 wins last year. Now, here's Thompson. Green with a screen for Thompson.
shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Setting the floor for the Warriors. He has the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Iguodala and Green are set at the forward spots. And it's Spates in at the five spot. The Grizzlies trail by nine. And here is Conley. And Thompson sends it back. And it's the Warriors on the break. Here's Curry. Passes it to Iguodala. There's the three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Conley kicks to Lee. Back to Conley. Screen by Lee. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Randolph. And it's Spates with the rebound. Spates has got his fifth rebound in this one. Iguodala with it, guarded now by Barnes. And the wide open shot from Green. That falls, nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. And it's 13 points for Draymond Green. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Okay, now, lane to the lane. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. First team foul. Green, he's checked in for Barnes. Andrew Bogut checked in for Golden State. Harrison Barnes comes in for Andre Iguodala. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Warriors. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. Screen by Bogut. Curry passes to Thompson. Bogut sets a screen for Thompson. Kicks it to Bogut. The 19-foot shot. No good off the front iron. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Lee with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Conley against Thompson. Conley into the lane. The teardrop falls in. Eight of the last 10 points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. And really, there is no resistance defensively right now. It is just far too easy. There's a good screen. Pulls it from the elbow. And good as it rattles through the hoop. And the Warriors lead by 10. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Dave Yeager coaching his team during that break. He got after them and told them to turn up the intensity, saying, we've put ourselves in a corner, and now we've got to fight our way out. Show me what you have. Let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. The feed to Randolph. The runner. And it's sent back by Bogut. And so the ball out of bounds. Bogut touched it last. Here's Conley. Six on the shot clock. Randolph a screen on top. Here's Conley. 
they've got to get back to what they were doing in the first half if they want to win this game. I mean, they're shooting it poorly, and that's really due to the fact that they've not been as sharp in their execution. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Thompson against Green. To the inside, Randall. Two shots, gentlemen. Shooting for Memphis. Zach Randolph. Two shots. And he makes the first. Marcus Saul is checked in for Memphis. Zach Randolph drops them both. Warriors leading by eight. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Yeah, you know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, and you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. Back up on top, defended by Gasol. No good from Bogut. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Pass to Green. Randolph against Curry. Baseline J on the way. Rebounded by Bogut. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Thompson kicks to Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves. Kevin, he's been a bright spot in what's otherwise been a little bit of a struggle for this team. One fifty-six left to play in the final quarter. And the basket by Curry. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're down by 10. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Conley. 
The pass to Gasol. Back to Conley. Passes it to Gasol. Outside, Green. And another miss by Memphis. Warriors leading by 10. Pass to Barnes. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his seventh assist in the game. Upside Gasol. And stolen by Barnes. Outside Curry. He dishes it to Green. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Outside Curry. No good on the triple. The Grizzlies have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Warriors. All right, Steve, and they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, Clark, for them uh, throughout this game. No opportunity really to coast, although the score may appear that they did. I love the way they came together whenever things started to look bleak. And one of the league's truly special talents making his mark once again. Another great performance for Stephen Curry. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Right, he's checked in for Gasol. Barnes comes in for Zach Randolph. Carter, he's checked in for Green. And it's Udrick in for Mike Conley. Thirty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. The kick out to Spates. Leandro Barbosa on the wing, defended by Allen. Shot clock at six. Barbosa dishes to Azili, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. There's no question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he sinks the second. I'm sure he would have liked to have nailed all of them at the stripe, but... That should be good enough to end this thing. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They trail by 11. 17 seconds left in the fourth. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's Carter missing. Igudala the pass to Barbosa. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Congratulations on this win tonight, Stefan. And tell us a little bit about the driving philosophy behind how this team strives to be the most cohesive unit possible. To me, it's a commitment. We know that that's going to you know, put us in a good position to win every single night as if we bring the effort, um, multiple efforts at each possession where you might get beat, but you got to get back in the play. And God's going to help you, you help him. Uh, you know, we care about each other, so we want to make sure that nobody's left out to dry. And I think that's a big, big factor. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're just relentless on defense, man. 
Congratulations, Steph. Great job. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Curry. He put his team on his back and carried them as we've seen him do before, but it never gets old. A textbook example of making play after play to lead the way. I will say this about Steph Curry. There is no player in the league more capable of single-handedly taking over a ball game than he is. What I mean is, Steph Curry's hot is hotter than anyone else's hot. He can beat you with his feet, his mind, his shot. The only thing you can be sure of is that he will beat you. There was nothing they could do to slow him down, Ernie. Man, go into a building on the road and completely control the action like he did. Only a few players could do that, Ernie. I'm impressed. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.